cut abruptly by the Washington football team late last week, quickly finds a new home with the Detroit Lions, a one-year deal with a veteran minimum salary worth, I'm told, up to $2.3 million based upon yards and touchdowns. And on the surface, the Lions have a crowded house in the backfield. They've got Carrion Johnson, second rounder in 2018, DeAndre Swift, second rounder in 2020. Why would they need Adrian Peterson? Well, the reality is Johnson has missed 14 games in two seasons due to injury. 14 games, nearly half of his time with the team. He hasn't been able to play. And look, that, that's not a knock on carry on Johnson. It's a tough, demanding position. And Adrian Peterson has proven since 2007, far more often than not, he can line up and go. DeAndre Swift had an injury that knocked him out for a lot of camp and had called into question his availability for the month of September. So Peterson gives them a guy who can fill in for Swift while Swift is getting healthy and also a hedge against the possibility that Johnson will get injured again. And the end result is, you know, wherever Adrian Peterson goes, except New Orleans, because it didn't work out there because they didn't want to use him the way he wanted to be used, he's gotten opportunities. And it feels like he's going to get opportunities with the Lions. And wouldn't it be something if he passes Barry Sanders on the all-time rushing list while playing for the Detroit Lions? Oh, and by the way, he'll get to play in Minnesota again this year. He'll play the Vikings twice. I'm sure that he was attracted to that possibility. I'm told two other teams were interested in Adrian Peterson, but they wanted to wait until after week one. One of those teams, by the way, plays early in week one and possibly wears helmets that are painted red. Uh, other than that, I'm not going to say anything more about it. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.